hello everyone welcome to this channel so in this video i'm gonna be showing you how to create an art door opening with frame in revit okay so in this project i use this architectural template okay so now here I am in Revit. So before we go straight to the tutorial, I would like to ask everyone that please watch every part of this video and don't forget to like, share, or subscribe. So now first thing I will do is to create a mock-up for that uh, door, okay? So to do that one, I just go into wall or wa for the shortcut okay and i just choose the arc uh, wall okay so arc wall and now i just simply select this and change this into level two and also the material okay but before that you need to duplicate okay duplicate category and here in the appearance okay you can create new material okay and here in the asset browser appearance okay you can select the uh, concrete okay so concrete cast in concrete and i just want to use this gray okay flat gray okay so he's uh, loading okay okay and now i create one wall with the in place mass okay by using the in place mass so i just draw an arc here okay i just go to 3d select this okay create form solid form and i just want this move it and create the island uh, type okay so we have two types here so this uh, normal wall and the mass wall okay so i just simply finish it okay and now wa for the shortcut okay and i just simply pick or select this okay and hover over it okay tab de for the shortcut so now it's okay i think it's okay so it is exterior with the counter check okay so choose the concrete also as material to the mass so now i just go here and find change it into realistic also so now once you finish to create the mock up okay i you can go into pile new okay family okay revit 2018 family templates english because I, we are using the uh, markup units uh, mm okay and you can select it okay so i use this uh, metric face okay I just want to use this model face base, okay? So now this is the one already. So what I'm going to do next is to go into void, okay? Void is to creating the opening first, okay? So I just simply draw a rectangle here, okay? Okay, MB for the shortcut to move it. And I simply draw an arc like this. 
Oke. Okay. Oops. Oke. Okay. You can draw it or drag it to a little bit uh, more down. Okay, you can uh, move it a little bit up like this. Okay. Or if you want, you can overlap it. This is uh, no problem. Okay, so this is the one already. So that is the opening one. Okay, select this. Okay. And here, into the geometry, there is a cut here, okay? So cut geometry, select this and select this one to cut the wall. So once you have this, okay, you load it into the mock-up, okay? So I just simply select this, okay? And you can drag it all the way up, okay? You can use also the arrow key to move it, okay? Select this one, family again, okay? Create similar and you can paste it here, okay? So you have, so the family that we created is working in the slanting in even in the normal uh, stand of wall, okay? So now what I'm going to do next is to create now a frame, for example, to this door. So how can I do that? I just simply double click it, okay? Double click it, this one. And for now, I just simply go to create extrusion, oh, sorry, create, swap, okay? Pick path and select the path, okay? And now you, you can go into the uh, front, okay? So now what I'm, what I'm going to do next is to hit finish, okay? Select this, here, there is some uh, more option here, so I just choose this edit profile, okay? And let's say, rectangle here, okay? Say 100, I think 100 is okay. Or 80, now you can drag it like this, okay? Okay, and now line okay tr to trim and extend okay th okay to the shortcut of the uh, lines okay so it's more clear you can adjust it this 40 is enough so 40 and 80, okay. Let's say like that. You can uh, play it the door frame, okay? Whatever you want, okay? Like this, okay? Hit finish. And select this, okay, finish. Okay, so now we can, we will see in the 3D. Okay, so this is done already. And I just simply select this one, okay. Here in the category, I just changed it into wood. Okay, create new material, rename wood, okay, appearance. Here in the asset browser, again, you can choose it, the material, whatever you want. Okay, so for me, I just simply should choose this gloss boots. Okay, just double click. Okay. So once you have this, load it again into the project. 
override existing parameter. Okay, so thank you for watching. Please uh, consider to subscribe and see you again in my next video. Thank you.